Hello and welcome guys. First off, as you might be able to hear, my voice is a bit dodgy. I uh, I have been a little sick and um, still am a little, so I... Yeah, that's affecting my voice a little. Um, yeah. First off, if you're a person who liked my XCOM series, don't worry, it will continue. I'm just not quite sure when. You see, I really enjoy Minecraft and have been playing a lot of that lately. Um, doing recordings for you, mainly. Um, but I have also recently been invited to join a small private server. Quite small, but it's still there. And uh, I will be playing a little on that as well. It's newly started. We are currently only four players, I believe, three or four players. But more people will maybe join. But up until now, at least, everyone on there is Danish, so I'm not going to record. I might show a bit of what we build there and show it to you. I don't know, but I probably won't be recording while playing with the others, because then I'll be speaking Danish with them. And you wouldn't get much out of that. Secondly, I have just acquired Heart of the Swarm for StarCraft 2. I'm not going to make a playthrough out of that one, but it will also take up some of my time, so what I'm trying to say is that might be a bit more time between episodes for a while. Hopefully I'll be able to speed it up again and do one a day again, but if not I hope you're okay with that. And now back to the show. So last time I was doing some um, railroading. I did a single railroad or track piece I didn't show you how to make I make off camera there it is it's basically just uh, eight standard rails around a wooden wooden railway bed and you get this junction track now my railroad is not completely done and uh, I ran into a slight problem but yeah, I, I will uh, maybe at some point uh, make it complete uh, the way I want, but for now I'll show it to you. So this little jump I showed you last time. And you may remember I took fall damage, and that was what it was, fall damage. You don't take that if you land on some another trail, uh, correction track, but if you don't, you take fall damage from those jumps. And that was the junction track, and the rail... Uh, elevator tracks and that they are again and I will explain um, them in a moment first I'll show the tour and I've placed um, cobblestone underneath the tracks most of the way and then I have built this little uh, station type of thing here where I plan to have a little uh, gravel road up here and then we have all my bees. And I've gotten some noble bees. More by accident, but it's quite cool, I think. Creeping combs. And I have these ebony bees. Not completely by accident, I was lucky enough to find a ebony drone in a in a hive, and uh, it paid off. This one I'm trying to mutate. So these are my bees, as you can see. 
So, then uh, to go home, you need to break the minecart, which is the annoying part. I have an idea of how to make it so you don't need to do that, but currently that's how it works. Then we press the button and go all the way home. I've made a bridge and go up here, the junction track. I like the sound that the railroad make now. Now, I had originally wanted elevator rails right there, but um, for some reason elevator rails doesn't stick to these bricks here. So I'm considering changing a row of the bricks to something elevator bricks will stick to, or maybe the entire house, or walls around the house. Or maybe just keep it as is. Now then, I have plans to um, extend the railway all over here. Set up a little system so I don't have to break the cart all the time. Now those things are all plans I have that I may or may not ever get to do. Because it's not that important, it's a cool little feature. But I'm not going to be taking the railway all the time. And now we are back here. This is the junction track right here. Where my two railways cross each other. And here we have elevator rails. I want to talk about these. They function like a ladder. Normally, so I'm not flying. I'm climbing. And as you can see they light up on the sides. That's because of this um, redstone torch right there. I can take it off and you can see it stopped lighting. And <coughs> when you activate an elevator rail like that, okay, that's actually like this. You see it uh, activates one up but then it stops. So what does this mean? Well, every activated elevator rail will automatically pull carts up. If it's not activated, it will let carts go down. So that's how these works. So they're not activated at all, so the cart will just go down it like you would a ladder. And I have obviously placed uh, booster tracks along the way to keep up speed. And here's another uh, jump launcher track. And that right there, uh, something I cannot remember what's called. But it's tracks made with the uh, three of those rail bed sticks instead of a uh, rail bed. And you get this, which looks kind of broken, but uh, it can then... Suspended tracks, I think it's called. They can then uh, stick out two from other tracks, and that's what I've used there. So that's what catches us. And the railway continue down here, and I must have run out of juice. Yes, I have. Now, we have already seen all of this. There's nothing really interesting this way. And here I want to do something similar again. I think I'll do something with uh, some detectors. So instead of having to break the cart and set it on the other side, maybe having uh, something that picks up the cart and puts it down again on the other side, or 
Maybe something that just holds the card until you push a bo button. One of those are both of those options are available, and I just have to um, figure out how to put it up and uh, decide which one I want. Kind of simple, actually. Then uh, just standard railroading all the way back. Well, with the booster tracks once in a while and suspended tracks over the ice, because you cannot place tracks on ice normally. But the suspended tracks can, but again, only sticking out two from other tracks. So here it sticks out two, and then it sticks out two from the other side, so I get four. But I, then I need this. And here I have powered. Again, four, four, powered, four, and then back on ground. And this junction, just so they can pass each other. And I wanted to do elevated tracks here as, as well, but for some reason every time I uh, tried it, I took damage. I don't know why I took damage here with a elevated track, so I ended up using normal tracks. I just couldn't figure out what was wrong. So, I didn't do it. And we are back here, where I circumvented the lava. And this little building I made to test out the filler. And starting building here, activated the water which always seems kind of strange to me that the water wasn't activated by itself but that meant I had to do a, f a little... Uh, f a few things a little different with the railroad but nothing uh, interesting and then back here again normal tracks or booster tracks and over here and I forgot I was out of use and then I would have wanted elevator tracks to go down the building, but as sh for some reason it couldn't be placed on the uh, on that building. So that's uh, that's my track. So I can get easily out to my piece. And I better. Put some juice in this one. Yeah, I'm a bit tired. I didn't get much sleep tonight. So, I honestly don't really know what I want to do this episode. I knew I had to show you this... Or had to... I wanted to show my track. So, as you can see here, I've also got an overflow of other resources, because um, these chests here are starting to get filled up. So maybe we can do a little sidecraft. I have done most of the sidecraft right now. So that's probably not a good idea. We could uh, could look at it applied in logistics. But before we do that, that's actually something else I don't want to show you. We we'll also build a house here where that I talked about with the enchanting. As you can see, I've gotten a good deal of that uh, green goo that I get for killing the lasers. Let's just turn this one up. <coughs> yeah, I think uh, we'll look into applied energetic, mm -hmm. and before we do that, or we need to do something else first. Oh, we don't need to, but it will make it easier. So we need some obsidian, some diamonds, and some redstone. Diamonds are quite easy. We need two 
to make one of, one of those, and I'm going to make mm. six, I think. <coughs> then I didn't need any coal, I've moved my redstone. And obsidian. That's obsidian, right? Yes. So, I think it was like this. That's wrong. Like this, right? Yes. Good. Now... Why are things... Okay, it's starting to move now. Okay, and to use this we also need something, I currently can't remember what's called, but I think it's called an assembly table. There, yes it is. Obsidian, I should have. Redstone, diamond gear, diamond. Good. Luckily we only need one of those, so five diamonds. And some more obsidian. We also need a few. Sticks. And we need some iron and gold. And we have cobblestone. Good. Might as well. Oh, I had wooden gears. Okay. So, how are you guys? I hope you're fine, because um, it's quite cold outside here in Denmark, um, which the spring sort of seemed like it was on its way and then suddenly it just went away. Quite annoying. So I hope wherever you are out in the big world that it's warm. Nice. And not at all cold and chilly and snowing as it is here. Now I also need a chest. Do I have one? I can probably make one. Okay, so I think we are going to put this up in the cellar. Yeah, I just uh, stopped recording for a moment, had to do some things at home. But now I'm back, and we seem to be running out of cables. Okay, I've already picked them up, that's why. Silly, silly me. Chainsaw. So I f think I will just do it here in the middle of the room. I think this will work. Yeah. So this one, this, 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 and this. And this. And then I put down these. Hmm. Do, 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 do. And then we put the lasers like this. Did just break now. Damn it. Okay. That sucks. So 
I will have to make another one at some point. Mm. That's annoying. Mm. So now we will float out that. Mm. You guys won't do that mistake. And I need to figure out... some power. No. So let's see, let's see. No. The this no. is the geothermal, no. so they're not going to give me the type of power I want. Okay, no. we have some there. No. That goes... No. Where exactly? It's just right there. And that's a bad place. Yeah, that will work. Mm. Oops. Mm. Okay, so the chest is mostly there because this one can, uh, as far as I've understood, it, draw um, resources from uh, the chest. Wrong chest. Need a bunch of those and a bunch of those. And let's just look. I can make uh, this is actually kind of cool. This grindstone. It uh, it can grind up uh, gold and iron into dust, but I don't think it can with any other ores. Mm. And it can grind um, wheat, to wheat mm. into flour, which you can then cook into a bread. So it makes you save some wheat if you want to make bread. Yeah, so I'm going to cook this stack here, I believe. Uh, let's just do half a stack for, for now. And then I need some gold and redstone. And let's put this away. should soon see stuff being cooked. Oh, right, I put it in the polarizer, didn't I? That shouldn't work. Yeah, now we're cooking. Now let's see if I remember this right. Mm. I believe if I put this and this and this in, I can make one of these. Mm. And you can see the lasers working. And I think blue is the fastest. When it, the laser turns blue, it's working as fast as it possibly can. Mm. And I have no idea why it's turning red now. Maybe it's not really receiving power. Mm. And if I 
could go through the door, that would help. And we are losing power now. Not gaining, which is a bit annoying. How are we looking over here? just can't seem to go through that door. So let's turn this one down. And we are still losing. And we are gaining out in very small amounts. This one shouldn't actually affect um, the lasers. It's working, but apparently very slow. Let's just make 15 of those to start with. That's probably way much more than I'm going to need. So, why is it receiving so little power? Okay, I'll just troubleshoot that and then I'll be back. Okay, so I just put in a energy cell here, which is uh, using more power than it's gaining, so I haven't been able to quite figure out. Maybe it's because I have so many machines connected earlier on this cable that is drawing the power, or maybe I'm just not producing enough power over here. That took the energy cell I usually have there and placed down there yeah. temporarily. And we'll turn this one up again. No. See, this is what I like to see. But those lasers are probably using a lot of power. Yeah. Now you can see they're green and they. The way this one works is over here you put in the what you will need to build or with. Here you see uh, the speed it's building with, the pro process bar, and over here you can choose what you want to build. Currently we are building this one. And then it's placing them in here, but I think I could in theory place all of these in here as well and it would grab them. And yeah, so we can make a few different things with this. We can make a conversion matrix, storage cell. We are going to need a few of those. An ME drive. We are going to need that as, as well. Storage segment. I'm pretty sure we're going to use quite a few of those as well. ME level emitter. I don't know if we're going to use that one. An ME IO port. Maybe. Maybe not. And then the crafting monitor. Uh, we are definitely going to me be making one of those. So we need quite a few of those, you can see. And yes, you can make this one without the assembly table by making a basic processor assembly and putting it in anything that can melt it. And uh, mm. to make that you need two redstones, one gold, mm. one silicon, and a quartz knife. Mm. And the quartz knife uh, is made like this. Two sticks, mm. an iron, and two quartz crystals. And you don't use up the quartz knife every time you make uh, It takes a little damage, 
not that much actually, but it does take a little. Very little. I believe you will only ever need to build, make one of those. But that's how you do that. Or, as you can see, you can do it in an assembly table and then you only need uh, two redstone. So you save one redstone by using the assembly table. And um, you don't need to make the quartz knife, so uh, that's... And you can make a lot of other cool things in the assembly table, so that's why I, um, I want to do that. So, I'll just uh, add a few more lasers, I think. And um, and uh, then we can make it a bit faster. There's also an advanced version of this uh, processor, which we're going to make, which requires uh, diamonds. And advanced processor, it's called. And one diamond, redstone, and silicon. So again, you save one redstone. It's and you don't have to make the knife, of course. And we're going to be using quite a few of those as well. So you can see uh, different things needed. And almost everything in one way or another uses quartz crystals or uh, silicon, which are made from the dust. And there was a few things that was made directly from the dust as well. So, um, I think this is a good wrapping up point. We made the lasers this episode, we made the assembly table. I showed you quite basically how this works. Or actually I showed you exactly how this works, but there's a lot of different things this can make. Uh, it's basically used for uh, tubes, not these kinds, but the buildcraft pipes. Uh, you can make a lot of different gates with this assembly table, which, um, for instance, uh, you can uh, skip the redstone engine on a wooden pipe and still have it pumping if you add one of these gates, for instance. And you can make it like uh, if there's no inventory next to it, it will start pumping and or it will emit a redstone signal and lots of different things with these gates. And uh, I hope to show you that in a later episode, but first we'll do a lot of this uh, ME stuff. Applied in logistics. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And it might take a few days before I upload a new one. It Hopefully, I'll do another tomorrow, but I will not promise you anything. So, uh, anyways, until I see you next time, uh, take care of yourself, and I hope you enjoyed this.